Salutations, and welcome to Kirby Plays Games. I am Kirby, this is Seven Days to Die, and we are back for the seventh day of the Snow Biome Survival Series. I used the mechanical parts we gathered in the previous episode to construct a wrench. I also cooked some food and made significant progress on the ceiling and on the foundation at the entrance of the bunker. As many of you are aware, that means that the horde is on its way and will be here when the sun sets. The difficulty and number of zombies has been increased, so we are going to do our best to get ready for the approaching horde. There are no guarantees that I will survive, and since it is permadeath, this might be the last challenge that we face for this series. The first thing I need to do today is gather some more resources, and we will see how much progress I can make in my horde defense construction before the horde arrives. A sincere thank you to you for joining me for this episode. If you enjoy it, please do consider liking and subscribing. We have like a lumberjack infestation issue. Oh, I do have my crossbow with me, just no ammo. Oh well. I think we'll plant some trees just over here, because having too many trees close to your base can affect lag and things like that. Finish planting our trees and then go get some soil. Might as well take a minute to upgrade my tools. And we're gonna need quite a few cobblestone rocks, so we might as well start crafting those. My plan is basically to build around the bunker entrance and fortify the ceiling so that they don't come in through the roof. Also a good idea for us to try to craft some arrows before the Horde Knight. And something else I wanted to do is take down this stuff before the zombies do. Because we can get some good materials from here. And this is what I meant by saying that once we had a wrench, we would have lots of mechanical parts. Just gotta get the wrench. Just in case they get any ideas about exploding this car. And we can see that the Red Day 7 has appeared to let us know that we are in for some trouble this evening. The Horde cometh.
That sounds like an airdrop. Hmm. That's definitely in our biome. It's not far either. It's just past the shotgun messiah. Could have ammo and stuff. I feel like we really need the time to work on the base though. Also going to make some iron arrows for the horde knight. Don't have a ton of feathers, but we'll do what we can. What's that? There's nitrate right under me. That won't be hard to find. We are not going to have time to get that airdrop. I'm taking way too much time figuring out how to lay out this base. I'm more or less trying to get a bit of a bunker going outside of the initial bunker. Starting to work with more flagstone blocks because they're a bit quicker. What follows is a brief construction montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. We might need just a bit more clay soil for some additional cobblestone. So we're going to run back out while we still have some daylight. I'm then going to try and finish the build pretty quickly. And then we will get our inventory sorted out for the Horde Knight. Oh, sun's going down. This is terrifying. I will leave the Horde Knight for a separate episode, and that's just because I want to be able to include as much of it as I can without running the episode too long. I can't believe that we're getting this right now. We really don't have time to deal with this. Oh my gosh, it's an actual wandering horde. You're kidding me. What a way to end the episode. I don't even like... I know I'm wasting ammo, but I really need the time. That's wild. More? I don't even care. Okay, we have to run back inside and oh yeah, loot. Jeez, okay. Have to finish this wall like now. This is gonna be so close. I can't believe how close we are cutting it here. I am going to upgrade what I can. Switch over my inventory and call it an episode. Fingers crossed that this works. 
Let me know in the comments if you think we will survive the Blood Moon in the next episode. And if you enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing. Have an excellent day!